What is going on fellow gamers? Today is Sunday. I hope you guys are having a lazy laid back Sunday and of course watching this but let's move along with why you guys came So here. my last video discussed Red Dead Redemption 2 and the fact that what's going on with the game when is uh, when is the game coming obviously we know that it's coming in spring of next year and if it aligns with how red dead redemption 1 was released we will probably see it in may of 2018 but my bigger concern here is that since take two who are the owners of rockstar games they own rockstar games um confirmed that their future titles will have microtransactions how is this going to be implemented in red dead redemption 2 for me if it's in multiplayer i won't care as much but still i would not like red dead redemption 2 to have microtransactions because it's a horrible practice like i've previously said it's a way of how these investors discuss consumers of video games is is is, is quite like almost as if we're animals and they're trying to get more fat out of us if that makes any sense or more meat you know more more out of us in the sense of money i know how that sounds but that's basically how they see us how they visualize us is that how are we going to get more money out of these consumers and recent events basically show this in that a big industry companies in the gaming industry focus on money take two is a big one of them rockstar game is a big one of them and ever since gta 5 had microtransactions rockstar games hasn't really produced or put out anything into the wild we haven't gotten anything since gta 5 was released which was back in 2013 ever since then they've had microtransactions game shark everybody's been on that game shark and essentially the game has become a service which is the final objective for a lot of these developers and rockstar games has achieved this successfully with uh gta 5 now the thing here is gta 5 has obviously died down in recent years so my theory here is that they're putting red dead redemption 2 out now because they want to get a boost back up in uh, revenue from microtransactions if that's the case then i worry for red dead redemption 2 what are we going to get in the game are we gonna actually have microtransactions in the multiplayer or is it gonna affect the single player if it's like gta 5 um i have not played gta 5 in a while but i'm pretty sure that it does not affect the single player if that's the case then it i still won't like it but it won't hurt me as much because I come to Red Dead Redemption 2. Same thing with Grand Theft Auto for the campaign. I expect a solid campaign from Red Dead Redemption 2. And I, I'm pretty sure I won't be disappointed from Rockstar Games in that aspect. But the thing about it is the multiplayer, if I ever were to give it a chance and it had microtransactions, I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would put my time into it just because I would think that the microtransactions had a play in progression and that only comes into play if the microtransactions actually produced something in terms of gameplay so for everybody that gets xp boosts from battlefield from uh, uh star wars battlefront actually i don't know if star wars battlefront has xp boosts but call of duty world war 2 does as well uh, star wars battlefront has its own a whole crap of nonsense going on there but that that's what i'm saying stuff like that is what i would not like i would not be okay with even if it's coincides with uh cosmetic features and there's no weaponry in inside of these loot boxes or whatever they're going to implement in red dead redemption 2 but again the campaign is the most important part for me but i just worry out how microtransactions are going to play a role in here what are they going to be a part of? Because people know, especially, I, I don't want to say Rockstar Games because I don't like blaming the developer. I always go for the publisher, just uh, just like DICE with EA and um, Activision and Sledgehammer Games. The, the publisher is really what the person who gets to decide on what happens with the game. So I like to blame the publisher. I know maybe some of you have a differing opinion, but I like to blame the publisher because I feel developers want to produce a game that's good, essentially down the line, a game that's good. And for developers that have come out talking about feeding their families, that's 
just put that to the side because these guys i'm pretty sure they are paid a certain amount of money regardless of how the game sells so i that's my simple worry um red dead redemption 2 how are they going to implement um microtransactions and how is rockstar and uh, take to going to take in the fact that man, most people are coming there for the campaign are they gonna have a part in that are they gonna put something in the campaign which would destroy what would what would be or what could be or what probably will be one of the best games of 2018 in terms of the campaign the multiplayer i'm pretty sure they're kind of trying to produce something in terms of grand theft auto 5 and uh that's that's simply it i i had another video uh, to produce for today but uh, this one just came to mind and uh, red dead redemption is one of uh, one of my favorite games from last generation and i hope red dead redemption 2 is treated properly and not engulfed in microtransactions which i don't expect it to be but i just worry at how well it's going to be implemented just because of how interested take two is in how much money microtransactions make for them so that's essentially the story for today guys let me know what you guys think do you worry that red dead redemption 2 is gonna have bad bad implementation of microtransactions or do you think take two is gonna take into consideration what's happened in recent events with microtransactions and how gamers are not fond of them and they don't want to destroy the image of red dead redemption 2 with that so let's see spring 2018 is not that far actually it's a bit far uh five six months depending on what month of spring it comes out but it's around the corner i gotta stop acting like it's it's not far away but well next year it's coming next year we'll find out then hopefully it's done well and tastefully and uh if you guys did enjoy this video uh, hit that like button it really helps me out and subscribe to the page if you guys haven't done so i'll check you out on the next one